You live, you could have seen some downpours or a rainbow. Yeah, we had everything today. Uh, so most of that thunderstorm activity in eastern Oregon, west of the Cascades, we've been seeing, yeah, some pretty heavy downpours at times. Really dark looking skies out here, Lincoln City, and seeing those raindrops right there on the lens. It's 56 degrees, wind is out of the south at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Over to Kalama, getting some breaks in the clouds. That looks nice, 57 degrees. And just a light breeze coming up through the river there. Your normal daytime high is 67. Remember over the weekend we got up to 87 both Saturday and Sunday. Look at where we are now. 65 degrees, that was our high today. So now we're below normal. Uh, noticing your temperatures though south, Salem only hit 61 today. We got up to 64 in Vancouver. Daytime high for the Dalles up to 65 when we remained in the mid 50s at the coast. Right now we're at 61 in Portland getting a break from the rain. For the moment, wind out of the southwest at 14 miles per hour. Let's look at the rest of tonight, though, your hour by hour forecast. We get to 8 o'clock, mostly cloudy, 59. We get to 9 o'clock, now we're bringing the rain back in, 57 degrees. 10 o'clock, we're at 56, and then just before midnight, about 55, and those showers continue, though there'll be the light variety. Tomorrow afternoon, a different story. So here's our area of low pressure, and it looks a little bit messier now. So yesterday, it looked like that perfect comma shape, this nice counterclockwise motion swirling here in the Pacific. But what we're seeing now is there's no driving mechanism. There's no direction for this area of low pressure to really go. It just keeps spinning out there. So we continue with the showers today. But a lot of instability happening for us east of the Cascades. That's why in this two hour loop, you're seeing all those lightning strikes. Things are starting to quiet down just a little bit more, though. Let's take a look at what we're seeing up and down I-5. Again, very isolated showers just north of Salem and south of Portland. You go out to Pendleton. That's where we're seeing those heavier showers along with thunderstorms. Salem to the north, you're running into moderate showers. Woodburn, you're in the clear, and then as we approach Portland, that's where we're seeing a few more sprinkles out there. Now, noticing those thunderstorms delivering also some uh, hail at times. All this moving in a, yeah, northeasterly direction at a pace of about 20 miles per hour. Now, as we look out from our downtown Portland camera, and those conditions at the moment, again, in the low 60s, what's happening, though, tomorrow? Tomorrow morning at the coast? It'll be mostly cloudy, upper 40s, and then the showers arrive for the afternoon. We're expecting the mid to upper 50s inland valley temperatures tomorrow morning. Actually a little bit above normal, right around 51 to start your day. Portland 63 for an afternoon high, along with a chance for thunderstorms. Madras and Bend in the low to mid 60s. Burns 58. Pendleton, you're up to 68 tomorrow. The Dalles just under 70. Government camp starting off the day above freezing at 37, a high of 51. And Hood River, a high of 65 degrees. Let's talk about that timing. That wind direction again, mostly from the south southwest. This is 1230 tomorrow afternoon. For the most part, areas north of Portland dry until we get to watch this the afternoon. And all that convection pops right up. Most of it for the late afternoon will be happening over the western slopes of the Cascades. Can't rule out the possibility, though, of seeing a few of those thunderstorms strain a little bit closer to Portland right there along 205. And then notice for the rest of the day Wednesday, those thunderstorms tra transition out to the northeast. More wet weather on Thursday. And then as we get to Friday, Friday's our break day from the wet weather. And it looks to be one of two days where we'll be without rain. Friday, a high of 70 degrees, partly cloudy. It'll be next Tuesday. We'll look for another chance to see a little more sunshine. And Saturday, here's the deal with Saturday. Saturday morning starting off dry, but by the afternoon, we're back to more of that rain, upper 60s and 65 degrees for you on Sunday. Not looking too bad. We need this rain for sure.